this is Christina here and today I have a new something exciting to show you this is uh, the new honey lemon doll from Big Hero 6 these are the Disney Store dolls I recently saw the movie and I really really liked it and I love that they did um, in addition to like the action figures that they did doll versions of honey and go go because I think that's really cool and really different and I'm super excited to get her out of the box because she looks tall and I'm wondering if maybe she might be, like, if her body might be a bit different than the other dolls. Um, yeah, so I think that that'll be fun. I really liked the movie, and I loved Honey Lemon. I thought she was super cute. And I liked um, her outfit, her, like, the, I liked, like, the, the, the balls that she throws, and they kind of do all, like, the cool, like, they explode, or they, like, turn, like, to the goo or whatever. I love all the science that, that she put into it. I think it's really fun. And, uh, yeah, so... Without further ado, I'm going to open this doll and we'll have a look at her. Okay, and here is Honey Lemon out of her box. She's really, really cool and really, really tall. I really, really like her. Um, yeah, and I think uh, her face is really cute. I don't know, there's a lot going on. I think it's really cool. Um, Accessory-wise, she comes with this purse, which is just like her purse in the movie. Has the bear face on the front and the little bear butt on the back. Has the balls all around it and it has a heart on either side and it's really really solid plastic like it's like rubbery vinyl really sturdy and heavy like really heavy and she comes with six of these uh, you almost can't even see it they're so tiny oh no six of these little balls that are meant to be like the things that she puts in and if you put it in the top hmm let me switch hands so you can see what happens so you put it in the hole in the top they come shooting out the back just like they do in the movie into her hand so it's really cute um i'm definitely gonna lose these things uh, and i think most kids probably would too because they're pretty tiny but at least she comes with six of them and not just like one or two we'll set that over there and then have a look at the doll herself so first things first i'm gonna take off her helmet and we'll have a look at that it's hard to do with one hand <laughs> so there's her helmet and it's it's hot pink and orange has these big, um, I don't know what you would call those kind of ear things. And it has this uh, clear plastic part that goes up and down in front of her face. And it's pretty cool. It's, I mean, obviously it's tricky to get off with one hand with two hands. It's definitely easy to get on and off. It fits her head well. So easy for kids to handle too. And without her helmet on, you can get a better look at her face. She has a really awesome like character face. She really looks like the honey lemon in the movie. She's got big green eyes and she has a cute little ski slope nose and a nice big smile with like uh, corally pink lips. She's really cute. And I actually like, I don't know if you can tell, but I love how the details on her face like really almost look like hand painted. There's a lot of nice detail there. And then her hair is really, really pretty. It's a little bit like redder than I remembered honey's hair being in the movie. I would have considered her like a blonde like a golden blonde, but definitely not quite as strawberry blonde as this is. But I like it. It's long, just comes just below, just about to her butt. And it's really soft and it's nice. It has some, you know, some layers to it. Has a nice shape. And when you take the helmet off, like it, um, she has a bit of helmet head, but it brushes out well. And I think that um, she's definitely really, really cool, really pretty. And it's beautiful hair. I wasn't expecting the hair to be so nice just because of the helmet and all that, but it is really nice. I'm really pleased with her. She feels really high quality. And then outfit wise, she has this um, armor on her front and it goes, of course, it's around her back as well. And it comes apart here, uh, it just snaps together. And then she's also wearing this orange belt. And then her dress, her outfit is two pieces, though it looks like more than that. So there's this dress, which is that bright purple with the pink detailing. And then it is attached to these burgundy sleeves. Um, it looks like it's two pieces like underneath here, but it's all one piece, which actually makes it easier to get her in and out of it. And then um, the sleeves have holes for her thumbs to go in so that everything stays where it's supposed to. And then she's wearing uh, burgundy leggings that match the sleeves on the dress. And these are actually so tight around her ankles that I can't get them off, um, which is fine. I don't really want to. I don't intend to change her clothes, but still, uh, it's funny. That they, don't, they just don't go over her feet. And then her shoes are these awesome wedge boots they're like this really cool burgundy color with like a pink sheen to it and then the toes and the front part of the of the, the platform are a slightly different color and then the heels and like the straps across the front are a pinker color um 
So there's a lot of nice detail going on in those shoes. And as far as her body goes, uh, what is interesting is I did compare her to a couple of my other Disney Store dolls. And it's worth mentioning that um, she's definitely like a full head taller than the standard like classic dolls. But all of her the difference in her body is in her legs obviously her legs are super super skinny which makes her look a lot like the character in the movie and that's where all her height comes from is this lower leg in particular is really really long and and skinny so her body her actual torso is exactly the same um if you want to see some comparisons you can check out my blog post which is going to be linked uh below uh down below in the description bar christina articulates.blogspot.ca i compare her to um the classic Rapunzel doll actually and she can definitely wear Rapunzel's clothes so the torso part and the arms are the same but it's the legs where all the difference in her body type and her shape comes from so I think that that was a neat way for Disney to handle it and really make this character look like she does in the movie without sacrificing um you know the exchangeability of the clothes that they already have in the line because certainly if a little girl or a little boy wants to add Honey Lemon to their collection and they already have Disney Store dolls, I mean, there's going to be some clothes swapping going on, right? And it's nice to know that things will fit. I don't think the shoes would fit, but the clothes will, and that's that's cool. And I'm really excited to get my hands on Gogo -Go as well, because I think I heard that Gogo's -Go's body is the same as well, but she has, like, put, like, they put padding in, like, the hips and thighs um, of her outfit to give her, like, a curvier look because Gogo -Go is kind of shorter and curvier in the movie and Honey is like really really tall and thin and so I think that they've come up with a really neat way to give the characters their like specific look without um sacrificing you know too much um of the compatibility with other dolls and also like not having to completely design a whole new doll just for these one you know individual characters that may only ever get these one dolls right because I already think that it's cool enough that they did dolls for this movie um you know you're definitely I hate to say that it's you know like a boy movie but that is kind of where it falls in terms of the Disney store when you walk into the Disney store the big hero six stuff including these dolls is all over on the one side with the Marvel stuff and um things like that and then you know the princess stuff was all on the other side of the store but I'm glad that they did these dolls because I think they're a really neat addition and especially I mean I just think they really did them just so well and as well she can the purse it kind of it will go up on her arm but it is just a little bit tricky to get it to stay there because it's so um it's so stiff and heavy, uh, but she can totally, oh, see, no, maybe she can't. <laughs> she can totally hold it. You just have to like position everything uh, just right to get it to stay there. Um, but it will, it will stay there. <sighs> okay, maybe I'm lying to you. With the slope of her uh, there, nope, okay. Maybe she'll just hold it like this. I did have her holding it on her shoulder before, but there we go. And let's get her helmet back. Let's see what that looks like. There. Okay. And there is Honey Lemon from the Disney store and from Big Hero 6, the new movie. I think she is super cool and a really neat addition to not only um, Disney's doll collection, doll line, but to my doll collection. She really stands out as something special. She's a totally different height from anything that I have. She stands literally head and shoulders above most of my other dolls. And I was just, the second I took her out of the box, I was just obsessed with how, how tall she is and how um, unique she is. And I really, really love her and recommend her to anyone who liked Big Hero 6. And even if you just like dolls and you love Disney dolls and you want to have something totally different, she's definitely that. So, as I said, there will be a link down below to a blog post featuring photos of Honey, so you can uh, find that down in the description bar. You can also find links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Tumblr. I'm Christine Articulates Everywhere. And if you're interested, you can follow me on Instagram, which is Catnip and Honey. That's my personal Instagram, so, you know, pictures of my cats, maybe some Starbucks cups, <laughs> you know, the usual things that you find on Instagram. A uh, link to that will be down below as well. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys!